Okay guys, let's do a quick review from last week. What is it called when you add white to a color? So it's called a tint. If you didn't remember that, it is called a tint. Pink is a tint of red. Last week we took red paint, we added white to it, and we created a tint. So here are our targets for today. First, I can add detail to my artwork to make it finished, and I can add a pattern to my artwork. And our next target is my artwork shows good craftsmanship. I'll talk a little bit more about what that means later. Basically, it's just working nice and slow and carefully. So our first step, and if you're in kindergarten, I have already done this step for you, is to take a pencil and draw a heart around the outside of the heart that you guys painted. So even if your artwork kind of lost its heart shape last time, this is where you're going to bring that heart shape back. So now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I am just going to cut on the line that I drew. So the heart that I drew should be not just right around the very red heart and it shouldn't have a lot of the white paper in it. If you need help with this step, you can come up to me and I can help you draw that if you're not sure where your heart should be on your paper. So here I was talking about craftsmanship earlier. So you can see that I am going nice and slowly when I'm cutting out this heart so that I do a good job. That's basically what craftsmanship is, is it's taking your time and going nice and slowly to do your best job. You could see that I turned my paper as I was cutting and my scissor hand stayed pretty much in the same spot. So there we go, good craftsmanship, going nice and slow and carefully. Now my scraps of paper can just get recycled or put in the garbage and my scissors get put away. The next step is to get a black piece of paper off the heater and to put your name, your grade, and your teacher's name on the back of that artwork with a white crayon. There will be some white crayons up on the heater. Okay, my friends, so now we are going to glue our hearts to the black paper. You should not be able to see your name because you will have flipped your paper over, so your name is on the back. You have a little cup of glue and a glue brush like we usually use. So I'm just going to paint with my paintbrush glue around the outside of the heart. You can think of it like a little frame of glue around the outside of your heart. You don't have to cover the whole heart with glue. So I dip my brush, the bristles of my brush, into my glue and I wipe it on the lip of the cup and I just start to paint around the outside of the heart to make a little frame. I'm doing this nice and slowly and carefully. I'm not getting glue everywhere. I haven't gotten any glue on the table yet. And I'm also not working right on top of my black paper. That way I don't drip any glue onto my black paper. Glue can be wiped up off the table, but it's harder to wipe it off your artwork, so don't work right on top of your artwork. There we go. It looks like I am about done here. So my glue, I'll just set to the side for a second, and then I am going to glue my heart down onto my black paper. I want to glue it right in the middle of the black paper, not so it's sticking off the side. It needs to be right in the middle of the black paper. And then I can just press it down with my fingers where I know that glue is, and it will stick. Perfect. So now you will put your brush away and your glue away and come up to me and get some gold paint. We are going to add some dots of gold paint to our hearts with the back of a paintbrush. So you can see I have a paintbrush there in my hand, but I'm not using the bristle side. I'm not using the side with hair. I'm using the handle side, the side that you usually have in your hand. And I'm just dipping it in that little blob of gold paint I have on a piece of scrap paper, and I'm making some dots all over my heart. I'm not making the darts on the I'm not making the dots on the black paper just on the heart. 
So now my last and final step is I'm going to take a white crayon. White is the only choice for this. It has to be a white crayon. And I'm making some patterns around the outside of my heart just to finish decorating it. So I will remind you that a pattern is something that repeats. So if I draw a heart one time, that's not a pattern. If I draw a heart a couple times, that's a pattern. So it's up to you what types of patterns you want to put in the background. I did some hearts, I did some swirls, and I did some dots, and then I made my little frame of triangles around the heart. I filled up all of my space, but I didn't just color in the background. I really thought about making patterns to fill up my background. There we go, so I have my name on the back, and my artwork is done.